Hello there, I'm Callum Dons, and welcome to Fun Facts! And I am back with the EU 101, where I answer your questions, no matter how small they are. So, let's get to today's question. Is Starkiller more powerful than Luke Skywalker? And I'm still going off questions that were in response for a tweet I made a while ago when I came up with this idea. So, here we go. And I guess this is sort of a premise for a versus video, if you would say that. But I don't feel like I want to do versus videos. I just sort of want to give my opinion on some things when people ask, which is why it's more this sort of thing. Short answer, no. Done. That's the end of the video. But, the longer answer is that, first of all, George Lucas himself is on record as saying that Luke Skywalker is the most powerful Jedi. And so the Expanded Universe really stuck to that when crafting the story for Luke and every other Jedi and their feats. And so we have George Lucas on statement saying that, basically. And then we also have whatever feats I have in the universe. Now, as you may know, this may lead into another question, which is one I will cover separately, but also why is Luke Skywalker so seemingly overpowered and like a force god? Uh, that is for a separate video in that case. But for now, I will just cover some of the things they did. So, Star Killer. Basically, he was trained from a young boy by Darth Vader to be his secret apprentice. And then his greatest feats have been ha holding his own against Darth Vader and then the Emperor reasonably well, but then still gets killed by the Emperor. It's Star Killer being Galen Marek. But if you mean Star Killer, that is the Force Unleashed 2, which is theorized that he could still be the original, but as far as we know, just as far as the law, he is a clone of Galen Marek, and that's why we refer to him as Star Killer and not Galen Marek. He is even less powerful, just based off his feats and all of that good stuff. So, there's a feat of also guiding a Star Destroyer when it lowers into the atmosphere. It's pulled down by gravity and Galen Marek does direct it and make it so that it doesn't crash and kill more people. So, there's a feat that a lot of people say, oh, he pulled down a Star Destroyer. No, he's very much guided it. And it's also back when you think of Empire Strikes Back going, well, size matters not. And so size doesn't, yeah. It's all in the story. Read the novel of The Force Unleashed and it gives more reasoning behind all of that. But also in the game, Ram Kota's guiding Galen Marek through that and doing that. But as far as Luke goes, Luke has contended with some of the most powerful beings in the universe. Namely, Abeloth, and survived, and Abeloth is not even a mortal, and Luke is basically the most powerful mortal Jedi, I will say, because there's so many things that he's done. So just based off of what we see as far as Darth Vader and the Emperor, Luke has fought the Emperor multiple times even in Dark Empire when he cloned himself and went to other bodies and was fighting Luke with lightsabers that time as well as with the Force and whatever but he was actually holding his own and defeating the Emperor's clones until they were eventually stopped by certain circumstances. You can read Dark Empire for yourself to find out the details. But the interesting thing about this is that I think Dark Empire is good in that way because it gives us a scale of Luke growing with his ability and his power and showing he's actually more powerful. And so, 
We have Luke defeating the Emperor, which Dark Empire Sidious is actually scaled by many people to be more powerful than the movie Sidious, the movie era Sidious. And then we also have Luke going on to fight the Yuzan Vong, Avaloth, the One Sith, and a lot more different things that come up post Return of the Jedi. I haven't researched really because this is not a versus series, this is just answering the question off the top of my head, which is what I intend for these to be because a lot of them are just like, oh, well I can answer off the top of my head, so that's the intention with this, but you get the idea. And of course, Starkiller, just to make sure I mention it, the Force Unleashed gameplay is not canon. That's where you need to read the novel where it grounds and makes it more realistic as far as Galen Marrick being not quite as powerful but they did the gameplay to make it fun which is what you do but yes yes that is what it is so yeah basically Starkiller is not more powerful than Luke Skywalker Skywalker is stated to be the most powerful Jedi and he has more feats to him. I named a couple, there's infinitely more, but I'd have to make a list and go through all of them and that I feel would take up too much of your time. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one and drop your questions and I'm interested to see what you guys want to hear and also have some questions to keep going with this for now so it'll be good. So thank you, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Eric!